Hey, back again. Here's that uh, field I told you about when I was shooting from the other side of the ravine. And this is a wonderful little mm, three, four acre field. Has deep soil. In fact, it's so deep that I'm going to show you a spot back here. A while back, we actually sunk a tractor because there was a hidden spring up there. And we drove over it and we buried it four and a half feet deep uh, into the soil. So this would be a wonderful, wonderful place for vines. It would be a wonderful place for olives. Uh, it would also be a wonderful place for fruit trees. I'm thinking probably pears and persimmons here would be ideal. I'm going to take you back now to where we were just a minute ago across the ravine. And you can get this sort of Tuscany feeling, kind of out of Africa feeling. Big sky, 1,350 feet high. Makes for very cool breezes at night. We're probably six degrees cooler than Austin just due to the elevation. Now we'll go back down where I was shooting before. You can see that limestone bluff, and below that is where all the springs drain. And this, I think I mentioned, it has 30 to 40 springs in a normal uh, season. Now here's where we cleared some cedar a couple years ago, about three, four years ago. And we ended up getting a couple of great springs up this hill. You wouldn't believe it now because of the drought that we're in. But one spring alone put out 18 gallons a minute. And later I'll take you back there and show you where that spring is and show you the, the carving, the little baby canyon that spring has been cutting since it was reactivated by clearing the cedar. Uh, I'll be back soon. Take care.